so far this thing is awesome. That's the Sony VPL 5000 ES laser projector. It retails for $6,000. Just hit the market. It looks incredible. I'll show you the screen here in a minute. Main downside to this projector is the lens shift. Um, it's manual. It wouldn't bother me so much if it wasn't so clunky. You adjust the horizontal lens shift and all of a sudden the image shoots up vertically and uh, you really have to kind of tap it back and forth until you finally get it to where it's close enough. Uh, we really miss the motorized lens shift that was a lot more accurate and independent as far as vertical versus horizontal. It doesn't bother me very much to have a manual uh, zoom and focus. That's fine. But this lens shift is just, it, uh, that's, that's the only downside. Otherwise, the projector is really quiet. It's small, lightweight compared to other Sony models uh, and doesn't get nearly as hot. And the image is nice and bright. So this is a brightly lit room. And we've got here a Screen Innovations Slate 0.8 gain screen. So it's a darker gray screen. We can actually see the image here in, in a very brightly lit room. So let me dim down everything here. I'm gonna dim down the ceiling, leave it on just a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna turn off these ceiling lights. These don't dim. Again, this is a dark screen and it is a low gain screen, meaning it's designed for a wider viewing angle. So it's not reflecting the brightness of the image back straight on like a 1.0 gain or a, or a higher gain screen. Yet we're getting an awesome image and we still have plenty of ambient light in the room. And that's because this Sony projector has a pretty good amount of brightness, 2000 lumens. Sony doesn't really inflate their, their lumen counts like other manufacturers do. So when they say 2000, it really is 2000 lumens.